like pre op procedure or pre op preparation needed? Yeah, yeah. So if you're planning to do a uh, breast augmentation, mm -hmm. uh, first uh, first thing is that you have to be healthy, no? Mm -hmm. So you have to be fit. So to do that, uh, you have to do a uh, routine laboratory test. Okay. So this routine test, I uh, usually do it in the clinic. So once, once you're clear with that, uh, you can be seen by a cardiologist. The cardiologist will give you a uh, clearance, a uh, cardiopulmonary clearance that will tell you that you are fit for surgery. And then also if you are if you have any active um, uh, illness like uh, hypertension mm -hmm. or diabetes or asthma, this has to be controlled. You can not do it again. No, it's not like that. You have mm -hmm. to be, all your illness must be controlled. You must be um, cardiopulmonary cleared by, 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 by a cardiologist, especially my cardiologist. I have a team because and then you have, you have to be also be cleared by an anesthesiologist. Because you will be going under anesthesia. Because uh, normally breast augmentation is done under general anesthesia. So once you get that clearance, you can undergo. And then also, um, if you're um, smoking, you have to stop that. Because at least uh, at least two weeks before the surgery. Better to stop smoking. How about vaping? Ah, yeah, you have to stop that. Any okay. vaping, e-cigarettes, you have to stop that. Um, at least two weeks. Okay. No, and then also if you have, if you're taking like aspirins, if you're taking any vitamin E, you have to stop that at least also two weeks. So you know, these are again safety precautions so that future possible um, complications will be prevented. How about birth control pills? Uh, yeah, I normally tell my patients to uh, stop it at least oh, okay. uh, yeah, because sometimes it causes also uh, like bleeding and other complications. So, Alcohol? Alcohol is okay, the man. Oh, my, yeah, it's just no problem. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. So, thank you for that.